trauma suffered by Sarah Everard's family is unimaginable. Human remains discovered, but in a state difficult to identify. The man being questioned over her murder, a police officer employed to protect, yet suspected, of doing the very opposite. This evening, Sarah's parents described the woman taken from them. Sarah was bright and beautiful, a wonderful daughter and sister. She was kind and thoughtful, caring and dependable. She always put others first and had the most amazing sense of humour. She was strong and principled, a shining example to us all. We are very proud of her and she brought so much joy to our lives. In Deal, in Kent, officers continue to search the home of the Met police officer arrested on suspicion of her murder. It's emerged he was taken to hospital yesterday for treatment of a head injury, suffered in custody, but is now back at a police station. This case has appalled many, and today the Prime Minister added his outrage, saying, I am shocked and deeply saddened by the developments in the Sarah Everard investigation. Like the whole country, my thoughts are with her family and friends. We must work fast to find all the answers to this horrifying crime. Meanwhile, near Ashford, a major operation continues at the site where the human remains were found. Forensics teams, sniffer dogs and specialist equipment drafted in to search for clues. A private ambulance to give some dignity to this morbid process. The police clearly had very specific intelligence to lead them to this area. There's an old paintballing centre and a disused golf course. The area is thick with woodland surrounded by narrow country lanes. And yet the police are meticulously scouring this landscape for any evidence. In addition to their normal duties, they carry flowers brought by members of the public, strangers compelled to show that Sarah Everard and her family are in their thoughts. Rebecca Barry, News at 10, Kent.